What's up everybody? Welcome back for another GTA 5 Summer Special DLC car customization and review with me, Addicted to Life. Today we are customizing the Canis Seminole Frontier SUV. Now I'm probably gonna I'm gonna guess, you guys can correct me in the comments. Is this based off of a Jeep? I feel like an old friend an old girlfriend of mine back in high school had one like this. Could be wrong. But I think it, I mean it's a Canis, might be a Jeep. What so, did you want me to anyways, um, yeah, I'd, I'd look it up, but I don't have my phone on me. It's charging, so it is what it is. Let's get this bad boy started. Aerials, we got the hood aerial done. Armor, it's weird that that's the first thing I've never seen something above the armor. All right, armor 50, brakes 35, engine 33.5, exhaust, dual tail pipe. Okay, so right now you got one single dual tail shotgun. Wow, those are some big ones. Uh, extra large shotgun. Oh, they'll stick out, don't worry, like that. The oval exhaust and the angled shotgun. I don't like these oval ones. A little different. We'll do that. Oval exhaust. Yeah, I'll we'll put explosives on. Not. Okay, um, I think those are really close to the car. Car wheels. Nope, actually they're not light. Fenders. We got the primary fender, the secondary, the extra large fender, primary and secondary. I think whatever we paint this is going to have the same matching. Sorry guys, I have really bad back pain today. Anyways, um... It's gonna have matching paint job on the second there on the second line there, so I guess That's we'll go up to extra large yeah. fenders. Front bumpers, we have a few here. We got the ram plate. Right now it's chrome. Ram plate, lifted ram plate. It's uh, primary bull bar, secondary bull bar, bull bar two. Primary, secondary bull bar. Oh, that was three, fours, bull bar four. That looks like it extends a mile long. I uh, kind of like the I kind of like the uh, this looks like this looks like the car car um, just a, just a small ram plate I kind of like that I might come back though oh there's not even a back bumper okay I was thinking there's gonna be a back bumper grill options we have the half slated uh, full slated box grill canvas grill primary and secondary. We're going with that one in primary. Whatever we change, it'll change on the inside. That's pretty cool. Hood options. We have deflectors, plastic, primary, and secondary. I think we'll go secondary. Hood options. We have an insert hood. Oh, barely see it with that white on there. Uh, aftermarket hood. Cowl hood. Reverse cowl hood. That's interesting. I guess you wouldn't see it. Oh, there it is right there. It is weird. Uh, scooped hood, vented hood, primary vented, and secondary vented. Uh, why isn't there a chrome one, huh? Where's that one at? Oh, God, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll go secondary, or we can just go vented and still be black. Um, that's it on there. Horn options, we'll just go with the standard. Truck horn. And you bought it. Lights will come back to literally come back to mirrors, terrain mirrors, done. Mud guards, mud guards, done. Those are some non flappy mud guards there. Uh, plates, should we just go Yeti? It's an off road, why not? Uh, respray will come back to roll cage, primary roll cage. Secondary, full roll cage, secondary. I wonder if this, if you put that full roll cage in. Oh, either way, it's in the back seat, so. Alright, we'll go secondary there. Roof accessories, light bar, raid rack, primary light covers, secondary light covers. That looks awful. Uh, raid roof kit, primary and second. Oh, you get them all now. See, now it looks better. You get the whole shebang. Um, I'd really like to have that thing, but with uh, the light bar. But apparently, I don't think that's a thing. Let's just do it. Let's just see what that looks like. Nope, it won't let us do it. Uh, 
Uh, side step option, side step, and pipe step. We'll go piped it. Yep, we'll do the pipes. Suspension. It's a Jeep. I guess we'll just go down one. Transmission 40. Turbo 50. Wheels will come back to. Windows will black them out. And now we'll go to livery. We got the Canis Tritone, which is also off the Canis Camacho. A little bit different, I think. We got the Old Wood. Desert Stripes, Sunset Stripes, Siberia, Terrain Tumbler. I actually kind of like, like that rusty look, won't lie to you. Two-Tone Camo, the Off-Roader, <laughs> with dirt already on it. That's, that's funny. Okay, and then the Clean Me. Um, the only way that would that would actually work look good is if we went matte. Um, I think I should go rusty. Not really a big fan of the other paint jobs on here. Go rusty or one of these. I think we should go with the brown. Why does it say there's another one? I don't know, it's not quick enough. Um, respray option. Go matte black. See, now it actually looks like dirt. It didn't look like dirt before. Um, I've only ever seen these in red. So it'd be fitting to put this in red. Just my opinion. Um, I like the olive drab. We're going to go with the olive drab. And then secondary. We'll go matte. There you go. That whole metallic just came off. Look at that. Go matte black. Or, sh oh, that actually does not change the front bumper. Yeah, so the bumpers actually do not change on the secondary. Neither does the fender. It's only the paint job and the inside. I think we should go with the desert tan then. Um, and then we'll go metallic, go through there, come back out. We'll go to plate, bumblebee. Back in a respray primer pearl. Uh, they must have fixed that, man. There used to be, you used to be able to do that glitch. Uh, oh, you know what? No, that should be right. Matte metallic plate. Back in the respray primary. Oh, there we go. It worked that time. They did not fix it. Still got a. So you can still do the pearl with the mat. Hell yeah! What kind of pearl do we want? Just to give it a little light on it. Barely see it, but it looks pretty good. We'll go with the bleach brown. All right, and then we need to go back to plate. Put the Eddie plate on. I think we'll black her out. Then last but not least, wheels. Gotta go with the wheels. Where are the wheels? It's an off-road truck, right? Let's put some of the new ones on. It actually says automatic on there. I don't think that was ever a thing on there before. Should we go with police ones? It kind of does look like a police ranger vehicle. Let's go police. Woman, I'd, kiss her. I'd kiss her too, man. Every day. Okay. Um, the olive green is about the best match we're going to get. So we're going to go olive green. I don't think there's even a tan to match on the wheel color. Oh, there is a dark. Look at that. There is a tan. Oh, green or tan. We'll go with dark earth color. That is it. Let's take her outside and party. And look, it's sunny out. It's sunny out. It's sunny out. Well, so once again, this is the Canis Seminole Frontier SUV. I'm about to say, and I almost said something.
Doesn't it feel very fast. Um, I don't know, kind of does now. A little, little drifty in the back end. A lot of stuff I've been reading about these cars that came out. It's almost like Rockstar wanted you to have some extra cars, but not necessarily or any of them can ever beat top speed in the races. Except for maybe the F1 cars. But this, uh, this is a highly customable car. Um, the next three that I upgrade, I don't know if... I know two of them aren't very, aren't very customizable, but this one is, and the last one was, so it's up to you. You know, you can buy it. Very highly customizable. Let's, let's go ahead and park her up here on the staircase. And then we will open her up. All the doors open on that. There's the roll bars. The seats look worn, just saying. Looks like the same exact Sand King, maybe the different steering wheel. So your primary is also the inside color. Pretty cool. So. Think. With that being said, guys, I will see y'all in the next one. Hope you have a good one. Peace.